You know, ladies and gentlemen, in New York State, there are many, many Jewish resorts. I speak there quite often. There's a place there called Plotnik in the Pines. <laughs> Very non-sectarian. Everybody comes out of the dining room. They belch. That's from yesterday, yeah. <laughs> Coming out of the dining room, one woman said to her husband, Clyde! possible they were reform <laughs> she says you know I dreamed last night you bought me a mink coat he says Daphne tomorrow when you dream again is gesunder hate <laughs> coming out of the same dining room one woman said to her husband when he sneezed so gesund bis 119 year he said warum nicht 120 is any of the club via mensch during the war maids were very hard to get i must tell you about a jewish lady who finally did manage to get hold of a maid she would have done anything to hold on to her one day the maid came to the lady of the house and she said madam i'm sorry i gotta quit she says what's the matter why must you quit she says i'm going to have a baby who's the father she says, I don't know. She says, what's the matter? You never learned to say with whom am I having the pleasure? <laughs> she says, I'll tell you what I'll do. If you will stay on, you'll work for me, I'll adopt a child. How is that? The maid agreed, and the woman did adopt a child. A year later, she comes back to the woman of the house. She says, madam, I gotta quit. She says, what's the matter? She says, I'm going to have another baby. She says, listen, Amber, I adopted one, all right, I'll adopt the other one. But please, don't talk to strangers. <laughs> Another year passed, she came back to the lady of the house. She says, this time, positively, I'm going to quit. She says, don't tell me you're having another baby. She says, no, I just decided I don't want to work for a woman who has two children. You know what a chazan is, don't you? A chazan is a singer. In New York, there's a very famous chazan there called the Blinder Chazan. He had 12 children. Someone asked him once, how come you, a blind chazan, has 12 children? He says, can ich zen was ich tu? <laughs> I wonder if you've ever heard the phrase, a moleke meidlach. It means the girls of yesterday. The Jews always love to compare girls of today with the girls of yesterday. The Amalek and Maidlach, they used to wear bloomers, petticoats, slips, corsets, verbinden, verstieft and verknipped. As they had not known them, they had not known them. Today, the girls wear French bathing suits. The Torah says you can get blind from looking at them. When I was in Florida, I went around for four months in total darkness. <laughs> One season in Florida, it was as cold and as raining and as icy as you could possibly believe. It was a freak, freak summer. I come on the beach, I see a fellow lying there on the beach. I said, what's the matter with you? A cold day like this, you're lying on the beach? He says, I came here to get a tan, I'm going to lie here. He says, I said, how can you get a tan on a day like this? He says, purple, I'm getting. <laughs> he came to get a color, he was going to get a color. I asked one man at the hotel, I never saw him talk to a soul. One day I said to him, what's the matter? Don't you have any friends here? He says, certainly, we're all buddies. Ich hab sie im Bad und sie haben mir im Bad. You know, Florida is an amazing place. It's like living on another planet. Now they're building indoor pools. Can you imagine that in Florida, an indoor pool? They have a pool to dip in, a pool to schwenk sach up. They even have a pool now with seltzer, carbonated water. You take three strokes, you belch, you go back four. <laughs> I wish you could see the hotels out there. Marble palaces, palm trees growing in the lobby, 
chandeliers, trickling brooks. It makes you wonder what God could do if he only had the money. <laughs> One of the hotels in Florida wanted a rabbi. One rabbi applied and he came with marvelous references. The references said that he was like Moses, Julius Caesar, and God. They hired him at once. When he started to daven, hat sie gewogen finsteren die Augen. They wrote back to the person who sent the reference. They said, how could you give us such a reference? They wrote back saying, Moses stuttered and so does he. <laughs> Julius Caesar didn't know a word of Ivre, neither does he. God was never a mensch, neither is he. So did we lie to you? There is one great change, though, today in Jewish family life. Today, a grandchild is the most wonderful thing in the world. Did you ever watch how, how grandparents pet and kiss the grandchildren? The grandchildren today get kissed for what we got killed. A child hits grandpa with a bat. The grandma says, Zevi Shena Spilzach. Before we leave Florida, I want to tell you about one Jewish man who went to the horse races there, you know, to hire Louis. He's, he never bet on a horse in his life, but he noticed one horse was listed as Tikva. So, a Jewish horse, I think I'll bet on him. He put his bet on the horse, and the horse in the middle of the race suddenly stopped, lost the whole thing. He goes up to the jockey, he says, what happened, what happened? He says, listen, this horse is a very religious horse. In the middle of the race, he realized he had your side sat down to say Kaddish. You know, the Jewish language is also very considerate. What do you say when, when something happens? You know, you, there's a Yiddish word for every happening. For example, kenahoganet, meaning nothing, no evil spirit should affect you. Nishdagedacht. When you sneeze, what happens? They pull your ear and they say, dear to lange young. Supposed to give you longer years. All it gives you is longer ears. <laughs> Did you have, ever have your a suit or a shirt sewn while you're wearing it? What happens? You have to chew on a piece of cotton, yes? <laughs> why? Anybody know why? That's so it doesn't make you stupid. Most people, it doesn't help.